Hey everybody, welcome to this commentary playing at Yasso mid lane versus Lux. This is on my Smurf account, and yeah, I don't I'm not a Yasso player, and you probably are shocked that I'm playing Yasso. I think I probably have one Yasso video from like years ago on this channel, and maybe no other ones. It's uh just felt like seeing how I can fare versus all my teammates are diamond, so I'm guessing I'm low diamond still. Diamond four, diamond three elo. So how can I do? said diamond four to diamond three yellow uh they have a poppy very good versus yasuo uh janna kind of annoying for yasuo because she can ulti like if i ulti somebody and somebody's standing next to her she can just ulti me away it's a little bit annoying um versus a lux probably should just use my wind wall as soon as i jump at her and if i see her turn around i'll just use it i guess if i'm fast enough it's a long cooldown, so you don't want to waste it, but I'm pretty sure that if I just go towards you, I should probably try to use your abilities on me, and you, you kind of just assume, like, if I if I was Lux, would I use my abilities when I was running at her? And then just use your wind wall at the same time, and you think that she would use it towards you. Uh, you should probably get Q off of Raptors. I made a mistake here. Maybe I still can. I don't know the angle for it, unfortunately. Okay, so she's not even harassing or anything here, which is lucky for me. Yeah, so level 1 does not have, like, any gap close, so honestly, I think she should be looking for maybe an auto attack on me when I step up. She can be a little bit more up. She doesn't have to play so far back. It's not really needed. I'm just gonna throw it sideways. A lot of people juke into it, so... It's gonna get an auto attack on her here. Unfortunately, I went into that, but it's still okay. Look for another Q on her with a dash forward. And now we will just look for another... Uh, just throw it like towards the tower. Might land on her, you never know. I'm going to put down a ward now uh, on top side because I think Echo started bot. I actually was not really paying attention, so unfortunately I don't really know for sure. You should always look at who leashed and who didn't and then just know that they start on whatever side. I'm gonna go for wind wall here. Fuck, dude. I thought she was gonna use it towards me and the cannon at the same time. That was bad. But... Staying behind creep so she can't Q me. If she can't snare me, I think I'll be okay versus a... Uh, Echo. You're doing fine. It was close. I should have played a little bit more aggressive there. Darn, dude. What did he get hit by? A stun or something? I'm guessing. I'm guessing he did. Got the minion. That's all I really want. He's gonna go for bot side scuttle crab. That's where he's going right now. Okay, this guy can't land any abilities. I think I should just shove her under tower permanently. So I need to play more aggressive so I actually can shove. Because if I play not aggressive enough, I can't get the wave to actually crash. That's the issue. But at the same time, remember that, you know, I can get ganked, so... Yeah, tank the creeps, that's fine. We'll slowly chunk her by tanking creeps. I'm up 7-ish CS, so we're doing okay. I'm gonna board bot side just in case Echo comes from bot side here. Can look for her, maybe if she goes for this creep. Why did that minion move? Ah, oh, bummer, dude. I should just use it immediately when I jump on her next time. Okay, 
Okay, I was able to not die. What the fuck was that? Hello? Once again, thought she was going to use her ability on me. I don't know why my wind wall went that way, though. I can shove this in. Should be safe enough. Unless Poppy comes, then it's bad. But I think she isn't here. So I can just shove this in and this back. Show Miss Creeps here. Ah, she got used her flash. Thankfully, also, Echo hit a minion and not me. Remember, this is like, you know, if this was probably Challenger, I probably would have died there. Because Echo would have pressed auto attack on me and followed me with his E. But I think he hit a minion instead. Like, so he was like spam flicking me or something. Okay, but now is when Yasuo becomes way stronger, because, uh, like, with Yasuo that I know of, once you get these boots, everything becomes way easier to harass, juke, your Q becomes much shorter. I can just freeze this, I guess. The thing is, I don't have a ward. <laughs> if I had a ward, then I would feel a lot more confident just going in. So I'm trying to make her uncomfortable by uh, freezing here, so then she has to step up towards me. We still don't know where Echo is, unfortunately, so I have to somehow shove this under tower. If I have Windwall, does that mean I can outplay? Like, if I get ganked by Echo, can I just g jump on him and then just Windwall her, and if she doesn't snare me, I'll be okay? I don't know. I feel like that should be fine. I want to play around my Jarvan. Wow, he's really far behind. Level 4. I'm level 7. That guy's level 6. Okay, but he just reached level 5, I guess. Yeah, that guy was bot side. I have ulti. This is not possible, by the way. You should just leave. I'm gonna go check bot side out if I find Echo. I think I can beat him. It's very common for junglers to like, you know, invade if they feel like they have tons of pressure. So I'm trying to help out my jungler. You know, if Echo was on that, maybe I could fight him or something. So I'm gonna put a vision ward down there. They just used the plant, so that means that can't be cleared. Oh, they were on dragon. Well, whatever. At least I know that my Jarvan's blue is safe. You never know what they might be doing. Did Poppy just rotate downward? Is she coming towards me? No, no, she's going back up. Oh, I need to back out ASAP, by the way. You are not going to survive, my guy. Even if I ulti there, I think it's not going to work out. He should have not dove, by the way. Like, I, I landed my abilities, but I don't think we should go under tower like that. As soon as I saw it, I was like, oh shit. I mean, I got really good poke on her. That's what I really wanted. Okay, now she has no mana. Fuck me, dude. Okay, I'm just making sure that doesn't somehow go through the minion and then on me. If Echo comes, not a big deal. Okay, she'll miss so many creeps here. I can also get a plate. I guess I will play Echo for being able to uh, win through reaching two items. Looks like I'm not very good at abusing uh, laning phase. Of course, it doesn't help that so far like I got ganked twice where my jungler is a little bit behind, so... But still, I think I could be doing more. It's okay, though. As soon as I get PD, should be able to 
hopefully 1v2. Not 1v2, but like be able to not just immediately die to them and be able to deal tons of damage. Ah, you're going for... Okay. I got Poppy TP off of that, by the way. That's huge. What the fuck? That landed? Yeah, as you can see, I already deal so much damage. Like, <laughs> I went in 1v2 versus them, and they actually can't really do anything. Just because they have a skill shot mage, so. Skill shot mage is. Oh! Oh my god. Hey, I survived somehow. Cool. My god, he's gonna go for Scuttle Crab. Maybe I can kill her. Can I? Dude, if, if he comes back, I'm pissed. Man, I'm so close to my item. I also have ulti here. I'm, I think I'm gonna risk it. So I'm gonna actually stay. Oh, fuck. Right here. So. Oh, man. If we ulti him, I die. Shit, dude. And if I go on her, he's gonna be bot side here, I think. I'm just gonna back. Oh, I still need 100 gold, dude. 100 gold for my item. I'm just gonna keep on playing under my tower in case Echo's here. Okay, cool. I have my item now. She has an ulti. I should be safe here. Top lane's doing okay. Bot lane's losing. That's fine. Sick, sick, sick. I am actually... I'm gonna buy Pink Warden. It's probably better. Okay, I need Infinity Edge. I need to also go some type of Lifesteal. I went Tenacity. Not really sure if that's worthwhile, but I think it might be. Like, <laughs> dude, they had so... Like, C, 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 C. Like, I don't know. And C, C. Like, they have so much crowd control. And I know that Lottie Assos don't go Merc Treads. They go Berserker Greaves. So I was like, shit, dude. I mean, I don't want to go get Chain C, C to my death. Like, or I just have to build a QSS or something. I don't know. Bummer, dude. He died. Ugh. Oh. Mm. Oh, Janna, I'll play. Nuts. The Flash... Ulti backwards play. Crazy. What? Okay, whatever. We got his flash, I guess. I mean, it's not too bad. Darvin, no, dude. I still have my, um... Windball up. Okay. 
So just give everything and just scale, I guess. Okay, Varus gets outscaled by Ezreal. Has to. And gets poke. And eventually, like, poke just falls off. I mean, he'll still deal tons of poke, but I mean, Ezreal, as soon as he reaches, like, three items, will be so strong. Won't even matter how far behind he is. She's getting a get tankier. Oh. Can I do... Uh... Bummer. Guess we will have to wait for our moment. Every single death matters so much. I'm just gonna take the CS and head mid. <clears throat> I know that I'm walking over a ward, but it shouldn't matter. Just going and I win. I have a Yumi on me. Drive him. Dun 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 dun. Back off. You're like gonna die to Echo or something. Careful. I mean, without without my ulti, I don't do anything. Like versus one v three, at least. Of course, I I can do a lot to like important members, but. Killing in Janna, Echo, fucking Lux. You mean just stay attached, me? Don't even, don't even bounce off. If everyone wanted to go in there, that would have been okay, but it's alright. Nice. I was just spamming my R, by the way. Whenever you play with something that has, like, a tiny knockup, like, uh, this guy. The Maokai. Um, just spam your R before they cast it, because it's sometimes very hard to react to. Because you don't know when they're going to cast it. So it's better to spam it. And you got a double R there. I don't know why they stepped up, by the way. I mean, this is the issue with low reloads, right? They make really big laning mistakes. Or not laning mistakes, but like positioning mistakes. Huge. There was no reason to ever Janna and Lux be in this position when me, Jarvan, Maokai... Okay, so me, Jarvan, Maokai are mid. What should you do if you're the enemy? Sit under your tower. Just sit under your tower. There's no way we can dive you. Like, or it's going to be very difficult. Uh, And just sit there and wait. Because... During the time that we're grouped, right? The enemy team, I think, had Poppy top at this time or something. So what that means is that somebody is just pushing a lane and getting free CS with nobody in it. So we eventually have to leave. We're just wasting our time together. But because they stepped up and killed themselves like that, then it was so worthwhile for us. We just we just got a huge throw on them, right? So, wow, there are one dragon away from Ocean Dragon. Bummer. But I think that we can still beat Ocean Dragon. Definitely sucks that they're getting it, but... Uh, I think I should go bot here. Uh, I don't know. <sighs> Let's see what I can find in the jungle. Base check me, dude. Please. Where are you? Or kill Yumi or something. But, damn, I really was hoping that he would, like, for some reason, start walking mid lane. A lot of people will push out a lane and then rotate to another lane. Pretty common thing to do, because you can get pressure. But, uh, he... 
I mean, he knew that I was down there, but I was hoping that he just, like, wasn't paying attention enough. So. Hopefully Poppy rotates into river. We can fight her, by the way. Oh, this should be fine, this should be fine, this should be fine. I'm Yasuo. I'm, I'm literally Yasuo. No. Okay, so with Yasuo, honestly, inside high elo, he's, he's hard for me to play because people will uh, kind of know how to like shut you down in terms of like just running in, but... As soon I uh, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I don't I'm not that good at Yasuo, honestly, I'm not. But um I know a few things. You should always go in. <laughs> That's number one, dude. If you just go in so fucking aggressive all the time, it's gonna be huge. I'm gonna go death stance here. Um So number one, always going in. So I'm going super aggressive and I'm flashing in on the poppy and stuff, finishing off people. And then uh, the ulti is important because it gives you the armor pen uh, bonus. So I can kill people like poppy very quickly. And then all I'm doing is I have a Yumi on me. That's another thing. If I didn't have a Yumi, by the way, this would probably be more difficult because she actually heals me so much. But um, I, when you have these two items, you deal so much damage. You actually like one shot everybody. Like auto attack, you auto attack. Basically, you kill a squishy. It's disgusting. So if you don't play aggressive and you don't always go in like super aggressively, then you're probably going to be missing out on so much DPS that you could be using on people. Uh, this guy still has Maokai ulti, so I'm just going to come up here and grab this kill real fast. I really don't want to use my ult though. Perfect. Uh, doing Baron, probably not the most ideal, but... We should probably just look for another team fight somehow. Yeah, you can go on her. I'm here, dude. Oh, I, I missed that. That was bad. Okay, we, we shouldn't do this a little bit too far. We, we can still fight and stuff, but I want it to be not towards their tower because it's kind of hard to dive that. I want to be able to just one-shot, like, a Lux or the Varus immediately. I can't fucking ult, dude! Kill Varus first. Kill Lux. God damn, this champion is gross. Dude, I don't even know what I'm doing and I'm popping off. Just because I'm like, <laughs> I don't know. I, <clears throat> I used Poppy here just because she was the only person I knocked up. I was trying to hit the other people. I was literally spamming my R key, but unfortunately it looks like... um. They were just, like, barely out of, a, uh... Or I was crowd controlled a little bit too long. I was, like, trying to say barely out of range, but of course I'm not. Like, I was CC'd. Um, I used Poppy as a gap close to the enemy because, I mean, it was the only person I could ult, and I still needed to use my ulti, but I didn't care about killing Poppy. I'm gonna go for the main targets first. That's another thing that a lot of players that I would say inside gold and less have a hard time doing. Whenever you play a certain champion, you should definitely be focusing on nearest target, but nearest target, that is important. So, a lot of people, I would, in my opinion, silver and gold, yeah, it sounds like, and I, I feel like a lot of people would be like, I already do do that. You probably don't. You probably make a lot of mistakes. Especially on ranged champions, where you can actually be hitting somebody that's more important than the person that's in front of you. So, rather than going for Poppy, I just immediately went for Varus. 
instead. I'm just following him because I, I feel like I can just, I, you know, I could go mid here and just like go for the, the you know, actual wave, but I felt like a fight was going to break out. I don't know why. Fights, fights happen so much inside this elo, so I hope Yumi doesn't get caught out here. Okay, cool. She's not. Uh, I still am not comfortable with diving or anything like that, so I'm just gonna wait. Um, they are going to eventually, like, make a mistake of overstepping. Like, I don't know, to shove out, or they're gonna look for a pick, you know, like, oh, Maokai's alone, or like, right here or something. And then we can, uh, just turn on them and engage. I think that's how I want to win the game. Oh, nice. Balling got a kill. Man, what if I just flash queued there on both of them? That actually would have been worthwhile. We can actually dive with Maokai. That's fine. Uh, I want to go in. Okay, Poppy's here this time, but that should still be okay. Hopefully Poppy goes on a tank or something. Can't like that. Oh, I got knocked back. Oh my god, what? Dude, Ezra ulti did so much damage there, hello? Dude, like, this is disgusting. <laughs> I healed so much there, by the way. I'm playing these fights so poorly, but it doesn't even matter. One thing that's I think I'm okay at is not just going in with my ink killing myself. I'm okay with playing like it kind of smart. I would say that's that's something that I'm decent at at least. Okay, cool. So we won the game. I thought this game was actually going to be a bit harder to be honest, but I guess I underestimated how strong my power spike is after I got a couple kills. Like, look how much damage, dude. That did almost 500 damage to that guy. That's great. Just absolutely disgusting. And that's on a 1.3 second cooldown. <laughs> oh man, that's gonna pad my damage stats by so much, by the way. Um, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you learned something about what I'm trying to think about when I play Yasuo and the things that maybe you have learned from watching me play. Like, not I'm not overexerting myself during laning phase trying to get the best kills in the world. I'm just re trying to reach my power spikes, which is completely fine on champions. Um... It's just that the best Yasuo players know how to abuse early game leads. Like, maybe level 3 I could have went way more aggressive or something. But also, my Jarvan did die and Echo did come mid, so I don't know. Um, I think Maokai, he, he actually won us the game there. Oh, nice, I got promoted to Platinum. Uh, of course, my MMR is way higher than Platinum, so I'm not actually Platinum on this account. Because everybody's like Diamond. Um, oh, nice, most damage. Of course, I did get a ton of damage at the very end, which, like, made it even bigger but uh hopefully you guys enjoyed it i don't think that i uh would play tons of yasuo you can see this guy's d4 we can see oh he's actually a lux main oh it looks like he's support though so he was a support player that was playing mid lane wait what, what did that say oh d okay so this guy is diamond three this guy actually plays mid lane, he actually plays Echo. Uh, I quickly want to just look at that, yeah, so we were losing during the early game. We're looking at their damage, or their uh, gold chart compared to ours, so we were actually losing by 4,000 until like around here. And that's when the whole entire game got turned and then we just quickly were able to end it. I actually got a quadra there too, which is nuts. But yeah, I'm probably not going to play Yasuo inside Hilo, but hopefully this is for all the people who want to see me play Yasuo, even though I'm not very good at it. All right, I'll see you guys later. Uh, if you like the video, be sure to drop a like, and I'll see you guys next time.